Well, we never know what we're gonna find. And I figured I just opened this box and it occurred to me that I should probably share what I discover. So this box has been, is from an antique dealer's booth. Um, it's been boxed up for, I don't know, 15 years or so. So we'll figure out uh, what we've got in there. That's definitely hand painted, but don't know anything else. No markings on the bottom. Let's see. Oh, looks like we have a lid. Mm, nope, not it. Let's see what else we've got here? more hand painted something something don't know if that's actually a mark or sticker goo it's usually sticker goo hand painted very dirty well the paint looks different on that lid but it, it could be right Looks like the same color paint there. It's definitely the same color paint in that orange coral looking thing. So maybe, maybe it's meant to be mismatched. Back to the box. that I see. NL. Hmm. No idea. This is the part I hate about opening boxes. Because I have very little knowledge. But we'll try. What else we got? There's a milk glass bud vase with, uh, if it were painted, those would probably be coneflowers or black eyed Susan. No, petals are too big. <laughs> Listen to me trying to pretend I know what the heck I'm doing. What's this say? That says Avon. Well, I'm told that Avon stuff is we're selling, so we'll add that to the box pile. Let me put the box closer. All right. Let's see. Whistle for your milk. Hand painted. Rose products. Hand decorated. Well, that'll help in researching it. Isn't he cute? She. She's got eyelashes. Has to be a she. Some cool glazing. 
Orco USA. Well, we'll have to look that up. Back to the box. We got, we've got hand painted teacup. Bone China made in England and a number on it. That's a lot of information. Helpful. Very cute. Another teacup. Also looks hand painted. Don't see any chips on it. Silver Birch, England. Cool. Nothing else in that paper. I'd love to say that I'd love to get excited about this again. Because this is just difficult most of the time. I don't know. We have the saucer that definitely matches that teacup. Yep. So we'll put that there. I just uh, I just sold a really sweet teacup that I didn't know a whole lot about it on eBay. Oh, look at that. That is super pretty. Almost looks like piano keys a little bit around the sides. Silver birch definitely goes with that little cup. we can figure this out now. So we have a top that's painted like this one, but the lid definitely does not go on there. Well, I mean, I guess it could, but it doesn't, it's not a very secure lid. Hmm. But if I look at this one, that fits perfectly. Different paint. Fantastic. Dunno. Well, isn't that a pretty bird? No markings. Little pink drip there. Doesn't look like that was supposed to be there. No damage, no chips. It's a cute little bird.
candy dish, maybe. Fancy. Look at his colors. That's fun. That one has a marking. Very helpful. Also has a very large chip chunk, but I don't see or feel any other chips. So, We'll have to do some research on him. Story of my life. Doing research. And that is emptying a box. Super fun. Okay, let's do Box number two. See some newspaper in here from 2000. So that's when this was boxed up. Um, La Ladro. Interesting. We have, oh, one of those um, pens on a basket. But boy, that glass is really cool. Let's put that over there for now. Like that's the bottom for that hen on a nest. That's pretty. Let's see what else we got in here. We got. Wow, look at the detail in her face. That's kind of cool. The Milkmaid, 1949. Hmm. Okay. Well, this doesn't look like a fun box to unpack. What else is in there? This is a... That's a pretty cool scene. Fancy picture. Bunny. All kinds of markings. Handmade ladro. Well, that's the first thing that's got the name that's on the box, so that's kind of cool. with that picture. 
there's a little... No, that's just discoloration. No markings. It's got a little... Oh, yeah. That is a crack. And it looks like somebody tried to repair it somehow? I don't know. I don't think those two go together. They're different colors. Yep. Yeah. So that's the cool Ladro box. I think we'll put the grass back in there. Stay back for later. And ship that fancy girl in there. Let's see. really heavy. That's probably not going to be easy to figure out. Cool. I have a, uh, a turtle. That's definitely a paperweight. I have a turtle paperweight. It looks like the same stuff. I have a Superman lunchbox. Clark Kent. kind of old. Oh, look. There's Superman coming in the asteroid. Well, that must be pretty old. Let's see if there's... Oh, there's a cover. in it. Nope. But it's got, oh, safety first. <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee. No thermos. Well, you just never know what you're going to find in the boxes here. Let's see what else we got. We got Holy cow, that's heavy. I mean, like, cast iron heavy. What is he? Pretty cool face. Wow. That's almost difficult to hold with one hand. Huh. That's going to be a tough one. Mm. And test trucks in the box. I wonder if these are still a thing. This guy doesn't look like he's ever been out of the box. Oh well, yeah. That is pristine. Haven't found one of those yet. I guess that's something we'll need to research. Put him back in his box. for 
clear. Cool box too. Let's see. This one's got um, house truck and racer. Definitely not. Alright, well, we're not going to take him out of the box right now. Because I know there's more of these in the house. So, we'll do all that research all at once. Dad, Grandpa, love from Karen, Janet, and Danny. Well, Danny is my 30-year-old son, and Karen is my mom, and Janet is me. So it looks like this was given as a gift to my grandfather. And then after my grandfather passed away, it came back here. Ooh. That's a fancy house truck. Neat. Okay. We'll research those another day. So, that is what came out of box 21. Onward. <laughs>